Well, when you're ready to do top coat, you want to first get it all sanded down and then take it to the air hose and blow off any dust that might be on it. Then the only things you're really going to need are you're going to need nail plate for your top, nail plate for your drawer, and nail plate for your uh, for the bottom. If you can happen to get a nail plate where it's big enough you can fit two, please do that because we don't have enough uh, for everybody to have uh, three nail plates so we need to share a little bit. <clears throat> I like to start out with my um, lid upside down when I do this. Uh, reason being I put a real thin coat on the bottom and then I turn it upside down and do the top with a little bit heavier coat and then uh, what happens these nail the nails when they tack any moisture down they don't leave a bunch of bumps and um, other uh, imperfections that affect the look as well as the quality of the box so I like to start with it upside down and just like I said paint on a real thin coat and when I say thin if it looks white or blue that's a little bit too much if it looks uh, fairly clear then you're right on the money and <clears throat> Um, always try and paint with the grain. This one might be just a bit heavy. This brush was a little bit saturated when I started. So I'll see if I can't take some of that off. It, it's supposed to be a self-leveling top coat. Um, but I try and not leave any air bubbles in it or uh, anything like that that could have a imperfection with it. So then on the top I go ahead and I put on a heavier coat and I don't want it to look white like this but a purple hue it might be just about right and um, so again that's a little bit too much so I'd spread that out over the course of the top and again going with the grain of the wood and long strokes are better because they're going to be smoother. You're not going to have breaks in the top coat. As you finish this, you might have drips going down the sides. You want to come and take a swipe at the end on the edges to make sure that it doesn't run down the end, down the edge. If it does have, does run and it, you leave it like that and it dries like that, then you will have uh, what looks like a, maybe icicles on your gutter in the winter time if it's freezing rain or something like that, where you live in the East Coast or the Midwest in the wintertime. <clears throat> so that's pretty much it. You're going to do um, a total of three to four coats on each uh, piece. And after your second or third coat, you've had it sanded down, it's real nice and smooth, and then you put a couple coats on, and what happens, it feels rough again. Because this is a water-based top coat, it'll make the grain of the wood stand up on its end. So after about the second or third coat, what I encourage people to do is take a piece of 400 grit sandpaper, it says P400, and <clears throat> lightly sand. You're not really sanding, it's more of a buffing or polishing the box, so just take it and real gently, just kind of, again, you're not, you're not sanding it, trying to remove anything, you're just trying to knock the tips of those grains down and you'll feel a huge difference after you've done that just a little bit. And uh, it really improves the quality of your box and it's part of the grading, so I encourage you to do that. It doesn't take very long. Then again, take it to the air hose and blow it off. Now I mentioned how um, I do it upside down. I do that with the box as well as the lid. And go ahead and again put a light coat on the bottom. I didn't talk about when I put my brush down. When I put my brush down because I'm uh, moving things around or doing something like that, I always want to make sure that I uh, put it in a container like this. I don't want to put it on a nail plate, don't want to put it on a table because there's lots of, you know, we're in a dusty environment with all the machines going around and stuff. And if I put it down on the table where it's going to collect a bunch of dust, well then I'm never going to uh, 
have a real smooth box with a good appearance, I'm going to have a lot of dust particles because those things just get transferred onto the project. So people always ask, do I do it on the inside? Yes, you do it on the inside. You do it everywhere on the box except for inside the drawer sleeve. You don't need to put any inside there, but uh, everywhere else gets three to four coats um, on the box. Now the only the other exception to that is going to be the drawer. The drawer, you want to put three to four coats on the face of the drawer, but not on the top of the drawer um, because it will grow in thickness. And I'll show you that in just a second. So I don't want to, I want to put three to four coats here, but I don't want to put more than two max on the top here, and uh, I, don't worry about, you can put one coat here and it'll be just fine, but you don't want to put uh, a whole bunch. So uh, maybe one or two here, one on the bottom, three to four on the, on the face. Again, if, if you put too much on, then it will grow in thickness and it won't fit inside your box. On the inside, on the bottom of the drawer, you could put as many as you wanted because that thickness doesn't matter. Now I'm done, what I want to do with my project is I want to take it into my, uh, into the classroom, put it on a shelf, make sure I put it on the shelf and not touching anything because if this dries, it'll act as glue and it'll stick. So I just want to put it on the shelf where it's not touching the wall, not touching somebody else's project. Then the last thing that I want to do is I want to take my brush, my top coat, and I want to make sure it gets put away. Where we keep the top coat, and brush is in the first drawer next to the sink. But before I just put it away, I have to make sure that our brush gets washed out. So take it over to the sink, clear it of any top coat, rinse it out for a few seconds, and then wring it dry and put it away along with Along with everything else. If you don't do that, then the brushes get ruined and the cost of the class has to go up. So I'd like to keep the cost down. After you're done with the top coat, three to four coats, then you're ready for hinges and you're done with your project.